Gulf Coast softball is smoking hot right now. The Lady Bulldogs have won five straight and had a chance to stretch it to seven with a twin bill against the Colin Wolfpack. And if you really like numbers, Gulf Coast has won 13 of the last 14 games. Now the Wolfpack had an unbeaten streak of 13 to start the year, but have since won just once in the last six games. Leah Kittrell, Reina Baluha, and Gulf Coast getting their team ready. Bottom of the third, runner on third with two outs. Morgan Fairley hits a grounder to the left side, but the throw to first is wild. The Lady Bulldogs lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the fifth, two out. Hitting Morgan on Gulf Coast today, it's Kittrell with an RBI single up the middle to make it two nothing. That was all the offense Baluha needed in the circle today. And how about Kittrell on defense? Missy Romero smoking on the third, but Kittrell a diving effort throws for her knees. Even better pick at first. The sophomore Blue softball is a complete game shutout. She pulls the string on this one to record a strikeout to end the game. The Lady Bulldogs win by that 2 0 final. Gulf Coast made it 7 softball to win the second game. The Lady Bulldogs play another doubleheader on Saturday afternoon against East Central. Gulf Coast Lady Bulldogs are riding a seven-game winning streak, including 13 wins out of the last 14. East Central comes into Ferguson tomorrow afternoon, hoping to stop that streak. But Gulf Coast has absolutely no plans to take it easy. We need to continue putting hits together. We need to continue having a solid defense and making the routine plays. Um, we need to continue being a team and you know, we do everything together like we have been. We work so hard during fall. We have so much heart on this team. We have so many girls that want to be out here every single day. We never have, you know, a sad face or a bad attitude. Everybody's up. So just, you know, hard work in the fall and, you know, being excited, being pumped up this spring and wanting to be out here and, and win ball games. That's what's, you know, causing our success. Allie Brennan, the Gulf Coast, and Lady Bulldogs beat East Central in game one of the doubleheader today. So could they win the second game and make it nine straight wins? Bottom of the second, Gulf Coast already up 3 0. Runners on second and third, Leah Kitchell. A single in the center field to score both Ashley Hickman and Matt Campbell. That was part of a 5 on bottom of the second inning. Same inning, Emily Davis sends a player to center field. That's down for a hit. Kitchell scores to make it 6 0. On to the third. Up by the same score with the aforementioned Brennan picks up a strikeout to end the top half of the inning. Lady Bulldogs have won nine straight and 15 of the last 16 overall. The Gulf Coast Lady Bulldogs already swept a doubleheader against the Bull and the Wildcats earlier this season in Poplarville. The Gulf Coast won by two runs in each game on March 19th. But the day before the regular season, 4 0 against their rivals. The first game of the Twin Bill was over in the hurry. Coast scores first in the second game. Danny Kraft hits a high pop up to short left field, and it falls in for a base hit. The Lady Bulldogs up early again. After the Lady Wildcats tied it up in the second inning, they tack on another run with an RBI single by Whitney Waits on a ball that doesn't even leave the infield. Bottom two, Reyna Baluha at the dish on a full count pitch. She gets a hold of that one to right center field. Peace, and it's tied back up at two. Skip ahead to the top of the fourth. Here's the crazy defense we were talking about. A high pop-up heads into foul ground. Baluha calls for it, but Olivia Ladner is there to back her up. That's something you don't see every day. Gulf Coast hangs on to win 7-3 in the second game. The Lady Bulldogs finish the season without a loss against Pearl River. They'll take on sixth-ranked Jones on Saturday in Ellisville, while Pearl River will host Hines.